Oh my god, I'm so crazy excited for this. I was so curious to see this airport and from what I see now it's already like so well taken care of, it's so beautiful and this is just the arrival hall. So we still need to go through immigration, pick up the luggages and then maybe have like something small to eat. So we're gonna just see if we can find something quickly to eat. This but oh my god, I'm so excited for this trip. This was almost 10 Singaporean dollars. We're gonna eat this and then we're gonna go to our hotel. If you smoke in a town area, yeah, they just throw. Uh huh. Then someone sees it and you get fined. Oh. Okay, okay. Uh, drink little definitely it's a no go. And uh, yeah, spitting on the ground. To be honest, just bring this good. Dit is eigenlijk wel cool. Hier ben ik dan de hele dag. Hè? Kijk hier. Hello, hello. It's our first day in Singapore. I'm really happy to be here. We're actually in Arab Street right now. So we're going to discover this area because this area was also on my list and it's so vibrant like the colors of the buildings, but I think that was also one of the characteristics from Arab Street, that they had a lot of colored buildings, etc. And it's, it's really adorable to see. They have like multiple of the stores that they would have, for example, in Turkey as well, like the ones that you would find on the, on the bazaar. But it's so cute, oh my god. I think this is a totally different area or vibe than the rest of Singapore. But yeah, let's go. law photo booths and they have like so many places where you can actually like have the self photo booth we are actually walking away from Haji Lane that was I think Arab Street and Haji Lane are close to each other I'm not sure like at this moment we don't have internet so like we're just we're just winging it our stay is right on Arab Street or Haji Lanes we don't have internet access we're just wandering around looking for places where we can first of all get a sim card but also somewhere where we can eat and drink something let's get going I only saw like maybe two streets and I can definitely already say this city is insane it's so clean and it's so beautiful. Stunning. Wow. Maybe people are like, 
like, girl, that's just a building. But honestly, this is not just a building. I mean, have you seen buildings in the Netherlands? It's just bricks, like literal bricks. Everything I see here is like mind blowing. <laughs> we finally have the SIM card, but this is like a tourist SIM card. So it's only for, I think, 40 days, but we are only staying for three days, right? So that's totally fine. 12 Singaporean dollars for 100 GB, which is crazy super super cheap and we are now looking for food as, as per usual literally starving like the moment when i get hungry i just want to eat so embarrassing when you come to another country and then eat the same things over and over again very western food but i promise Tomorrow we will go to another place. We will try some more Asian local food. So this burger, literally the price of this burger was 15 Singaporean dollars, which is like over, I think over 10 euros, or maybe it is 10 euros. Mm. I have to say it's definitely, uh, I feel like the prices are a little bit more up here uh, because obviously like Singapore is a super expensive country. Some of the things, for example, like I bought this umbrella as protection for the sun because it's really, really hot. This only costs seven dollars, which is around five euros for an umbrella, which I think is really cheap. But whenever you go to like restaurants for food and all other things, I feel like it's a little bit more, the prices are a little bit more up. So I'm still in the phase of discovering like what is normal, what the usual prices are. Because the city is humongous, it's so huge. Like I, I don't really know where to go and where to... Maybe I should ask some locals as well. One of the main roads where they have a lot of shops but also a lot of coffee shops and we are basically here to look around they have so many so many cute local stores or at least i think it's local because i haven't seen them anywhere else but such a different style i just wish we had these stores somewhere else as well but like the clothing style is so much more sophisticated more delicate I have to say this street is very beautiful and also completely filled with shopping centers and luxury stores so it's really dependent on what you're looking for so i would say when we started we had a little bit more of the shopping centers where you could find regular shops and then towards the end you have like these huge luxury stores that we actually didn't really get into because because we literally cannot buy anything but it's really beautiful I didn't really vlog inside it's almost 8 p.m. as you can see it's quite dark outside but because of the lights it's it's so beautiful to see like all the bill not the billboards but like all the lights from all the stores I don't know if I can show it to you like this so this is like a shopping center behind me with all the luxury stores we didn't really get into that one when we look here we have another one so it's like a huge street so it's very nice to just walk around since the Sun is down it's it's a little less hot so it's very pleasant to walk around right now trying to look for like a metro card you can only use one credit card to check in whenever you want to buy like a physical card because they don't sell single cards so you really need to buy like a real pass you cannot pay with credit cards so you need to have cash money i don't know why but okay we can't use the metro
Okay, we are literally taste testing in a, in a shopping mall. But this is like the one that I picked. This is extremely, extremely soft, as you can see. It's super squishy. It's like still dough. And it's filled with uh, chocolate. Mm. Mm. There's like a dark flavor of chocolate, which almost tastes like coffee, I would say. But it is overall really good because but the bun being so squishy, so soft, like the structure is really, really nice. I really like it because it's also like super light. It's, so I think you could easily just finish one of these. And this is the pretzel. As you can see, it's like chocolate in between and it's glazed with some uh, glaze. <laughs> but it's like a dough pretzel, as you can see. Like it's, it's crusty and layered. Wow, the structure of the layers is insane. Yeah, but it, it, it's not like it falls apart in your mouth. It really, it really stays as, a, as it is. This one is a little bit more as a dessert, I would say. And this is like an actual wrap of chocolate, basically. We're walking back home. It's already past 10 p.m. And I don't know if you can hear it, but the, the streets aren't per se quiet. I mean, there are still cars and there are still people outside, but it's so quiet, as in sound-wise. Like, it's not like you're, you have the feeling that you're on these busy streets with car noises, etc. So I feel like it's very safe and it's also calm, but it's not like you're all alone on the streets. There are still a lot of people but it's true, I really have like a safe feeling. I'm not saying this because I'm together with my partner, but you really have this sense of safety. Temperature wise, it is still extremely humid. I think on the other places that we visited, like especially also Bali, for example, it would really cool down when it was evening, but here it's really humid still. So I don't know what's the matter with that. Thank you.